All right, here we go. Here is a um, quite interesting portions problem. Um, talking about uh, using a portions web um, and uh, showing my work. So um, it says the yearbook staff at Jefferson Middle School had been busy taking pictures. Of the 574 pictures the staff members have taken, only 246 of the pictures will make it into the yearbook. Approximately what portion? Approximately. All right, what portion of the pictures that were taken will make it into the yearbook? Um, so just real roughly, uh, 246. So let's, here's our portion web. Wow, that's sloppy. All right, with fractions going up here. Percents here. And decimals here. Um, and we want to put words or pictures inside. All right. Wow, that's sloppy. All right, I'll try to write uh, more neatly. Let me, let me try this, see if this works. All right. Disconnect that. Maybe that'll help. Okay. Um, all right. So um, let's talk about what our initial portion is. So can I represent um, the number of pictures that will make it into the yearbook as a fraction? So what is my initial portion? What is my total? So the total is the amount of pictures taken. So there were, so there were 574 pictures taken out of a total of 246. Um, now, now that I know that that is my initial portion, I know it's close to, it's close to 50%, um, 250. If it were 250 pictures out of 500, that would be 50%. Um, but I, it's not quite that. It's, it's not quite 250, and it's more than 500, so it's less than 50%. So let's try to get it um, close to what it is. Uh, what I know is that um, a, a fraction um, can be represented and... and um, an equivalent way to write this would be 246 divided by 574. Now if I do that, I'm going to get my decimal. So I'm going to go ahead and use um, a calculator here, since I don't want to do the long division of uh, 246 divided by 574. Um, uh, but if you do, more power to you, 246 divided by 574, and I will get um, a decimal that doesn't look like that's going to uh, terminate. So 0 and 4, 2, 8, 5, 7, 1, 4, 2, 9. I don't know what comes after this. This 9 might um, have been rounded. Um, but let's talk about how many decimal places do we actually need here. So... Um, we can do it, let's do it to, let's say, let's round to the nearest um, uh, thousandth place. So I'm going to take a look at the 5, and I'm going to say this 5 is big enough to round this 8 up to a 9. So the decimal I'm going to use is 0 0.429, or in words, that is 400. Four hundred twenty nine thousandths. Make sure you got the T H S E N to represent um, decimals here. So that's what it is as a decimal, so I can fill in that for my decimal. It's about four hundred and twenty nine thousandths. Um, and as a percent, as a percent, here's the hundredths. And I know that a percent is always out of 100 here. So it's 42.9%. So here are my fractions. Here's my fraction here. Um, here it is as words and pictures. Uh, here's my rough estimate as a percent. And here we have my decimal. All right, adios.